Another problem is, how come asteroids have moons? That's a real hard problem. It's really hard to catch a moon. How do you get penis-shaped asteroids? And this guy says it's a major mystery how two objects, each the size of skyscrapers, would collide without blowing each other to smithereens. This is especially puzzling in a region of the solar system where gravitational forces would normally involve collisions at speeds of 4,500 miles an hour. So why didn't it just blow apart? According to their theory, I'm telling you the perspective isn't right. And how do you get chondrules in meteorites? Chondrules are like pieces of little melted rock. You have to figure out, well, there's lightning in outer space. Well, how's that going to happen? So things aren't adding up. And how do you get liquid erosion on Mars, on a canyon wall, like an amphitheater wall? How do you get liquid erosion on Mars when the, when the temperature on Mars is below Antarctica? It's below freezing. How do you get water like that? 